Prolog, one of the language used to implement artificial intelligence, which is one of the trending topic in today's world. Hello, dear students. This is Renu Singh, and today we will start a playlist in which we will cover the Prolog programming, which is one of the language to implement artificial intelligence. So, come on, let's start the discussion. Prolog. So here, uh, firstly, we will cover the introduction. So, Prolog. It is actually the short form of logical programming. As you see, LOG stands for logical and PRO stands for programming. So the short form is logical programming. Next is it is a logical and declarative programming language. You have to remember this. It is logical as well as declarative. This is basically uh, used to understand the difference with, with other languages. So you have to remember that this is logical as well as declarative programming language. So logical programming, now we will see what is logical programming. So logical programming is one of the computer par programming paradigm in which it ex we are going to express the facts and rules. For now, you have to remember that for logical programming, we will need to mention two things. One is fact and other is rule about different problems within a system of formal logic. Logic is actually of two types. It can be formal and it can be informal so here we have uh, the logic which we are using is of formal type for expressing our problems in prolog so in logical programming we are going to write the logical clauses where some head and body are present so rules are written in the form of logical clauses where head and body are present so it's for example if i am considering that h is the head of some problem and b1 b2 and b3 are the elements of that body of that problem so if i state that h is true i am saying that h is true so this is true when all the three b1 b2 b3 are true so if i am saying this statement that h is true when b1 b2 b3 all are true now here i am representing the rule i am defining the rule for this problem if i say like h is true I am simply stating that H is true. I am not adding any condition. So in this type of situation, I will say that it is a fact. As it is mentioned that facts are like rules but without any body. Here body is mentioned. If body is mentioned, then it simply becomes rule. If body is mentioned, then it becomes rule. But if no body is there, then it will simply become fact. So this is form of representing the logical clauses in prolog so languages like prolog have declarative and also imperative properties this may also include procedural statements we can also have procedural statements in prolog for example if i want to solve the problem h then perform b1 b2 b3 for example i am having a problem h then i have to perform all these three operations only then i'll get the result so this come under the procedural statement. I hope till this clear. Now in this slide we will cover the difference between the logical and functional programming. Functional programming like C you know already that we are going to define some main function and then I am giving some procedures and then I will return the output. So this is a functional programming. If I am talking about logical programming for example prolog. Then in that case, what I need to do is I have a machine and some knowledge base. Knowledge base is the place where all the knowledge or data is stored. All the knowledge is stored, that place. So when machine is directly connected with knowledge base and I'll put in question or a query, then machine will answer on the basis of knowledge base. So this comes under logic programming. The only difference here is I need to search from the knowledge base that whether this is correct or what answer is possible like this for logical programming. But for the functional programming, I simply need to implement some procedures and then I will simply return the output. 
In functional programming, we have to define the procedures. Like we implement in C, we have uh, like if I want to do the sum program. So simply, I will mention the variables and then I will write the rule for that. That how if it is going to add, then I will print or return the output. So this is the procedural programming and the rule how the procedure work and I also need to mention like for example for some I am saying like C is equal to A plus B so this is also an example of functional programming which program we commonly do in C this procedure work step by step we have to first do first step then we will move to second step to solve one specific problem based on some algorithm on the other hand, for logic programming, we will provide knowledge base. We will have some knowledge base using that and the machine can find answers to the given questions which is totally different from functional programming. As you can see that in functional programming, we are doing some steps in a particular sequence on the basis of some algorithm. But for logic programming, what I need to do is simply search the answer from the knowledge base. So this is the major difference between the two programming. Next is we have to mention how one problem can be solved. Like if I am taking the example of sum in previous case. So I need to tell that firstly input the numbers then add them and then print them. So I need to tell this but in logic program we have to specify for which problem we actually want the solution. For uh, this logic programming, we will uh, see example in our next video. So here, we actually want the solution. Then the logic programming automatically finds a suitable solution that will help us solve the specific problem. Uh, just a simple example uh, we will consider here. Like if I am saying bigger. Elephant. Comma. Monkey. If I am saying this and what I want to say with this is this particular line is elephant is bigger than monkey. So if I will ask a question uh, with the prologue or logic programming like uh, is elephant bigger than monkey then it will simply print yes. So what uh, is the basic uh, goal of logic programming is this information is fed in the knowledge base and then I'll ask a question and machine on the basis of knowledge base will give me output or answer. So this is the difference between functional and logic programming and introduction to prologue. If you really like the video, do like, share and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thank you.